and another thing our colleges and universities are widely using are socialized recitation methods this includes seminars symposia discussion workshops etc we went to make the learners able to uh, organize a seminar and also present the papers in the seminar this must be started from the undergraduate level itself symposia how a symposia can be conducted what should be its method how the topic can be utilized in a symposium and discussions there are panel discussions group discussion discussions dyadic discussions etc how a discussion can be organized how a content can be incorporated for a discussion oriented teaching method how teacher can organize an effective discussion in a higher education classroom workshops workshops are nothing to be uh, developed by the administrators it can be practiced in the classroom give the topic to the students and let them know that tomorrow is the day for emerging content on the particular topic through their own method that is what is workshop i mean we can conduct seminar symposia discussions workshops and other socialized recitation methods in the classroom and actually we are practicing it in the classrooms presently itself but it should be strengthened and widely used and we have to follow the meta cognitive learning strategies the brainstorming again the guided discovery methods the socratic method and so on let the learners to ask more questions let the learners storm their brain for reaching on a content asking questions should not be a duty of teacher asking questions should be the responsibility of the learner teacher want to find out the answer or teacher want to lead the students to reach on the answer teacher should not be a repository of all answers instead they can lead to the answers that is nothing but guided discovery methods so wide use of meta cognitive learning strategies are needed to our country another effective method that we want to follow in higher education classroom is peer tutoring learners themselves engage in teaching learning materials this assures pupil participation teaching learning process let the pupils or pupil develop the content with the support of teachers and let them teach it in the classroom one from the group is coming to the dais and he is teaching the topic it can be a shared teaching it can be a team teaching or it can be a relay teaching so peer tutoring should be encouraged in the higher education classrooms and it should become as a trend of our sector another thing wide, widely using method is the use of theater pedagogy utilization of theater elements for the classroom teaching here the teacher skill is very important teacher needs to provoke the students interest on simulation mimicking and technicalizing the learning contents utilize the facial variation utilize the sound variation utilize the methods use the available resources then use the uh, contents from the social context from the culture and develop the creative dramatic tendencies in the learner theater pedagogy is it can be widely used in our classrooms then participatory teaching methods presently also we are practicing it in our higher education classroom this assure people participation a field trip is a participatory teaching method the that one we discussed just now is peer tutoring that's a participatory teaching method so all these methods the field trip we are taking to the student with the teacher support it is a direct learning uh, strategy it's an advanced organizer approach so participatory teaching methods is need of the hour in our higher education classroom sector and technology assisted or incorporated teaching it is not of the technology oriented for example computer assisted instruction there are enough opportunities to use the technologies in the classroom technological aids like lcds etc we can use in the classroom we are already practicing it but we want to think of its proper usage and the models of teaching and micro teaching models of teaching is an area that is highly focused all over the world for our higher education section there are major families of models of teaching personal family behavioral family information processing family and social family there are teaching models 
in all these sectors. You will get enough information uh, on these models of teaching from the internet or from the book. There is a book written by Joyce Bruce and Marsha Wade and that book clearly observing how these things can be used in a higher education classroom. Information processing is a student oriented method or a learner oriented method. Social family is focusing with the social context, social learning strategies as Vygotsky explained it. So, proper utilization of the models of teaching, models of teaching is a design of teaching learning process that we can use to the classroom. So, the students interest will be developed and micro teaching process, it is actually a repetition, it is using actually for developing the teaching skill of the teachers, but content repetition skill of the students can be developed by using the micro teaching. Give the students brief topics, small topic to teach themselves for 5 or 8 minutes. Let them plan the teaching content and let them deliver the teaching for 5 to 8 minutes maximum. By that, the learner will precise the content and provide it for his own team. So, micro teaching and models of teaching will alert the student and assure their active participation. Of course, there is web learning and mobile learning. Mobile learning is popularly known as M learning. There are enough websites that we can create freely. Create some websites, post our content into it, post our events to it, let the students uh, scro scroll it. There is mobile learning, utilization of mobile as a material for learning development. There may have legal restrictions in taking mobile to the classroom, but we can take it for teaching learning process. Mobile is an easy access, the content transaction, the content development, the easy internet access. While we are using mobile for teaching learning process, it is called mobile learning method. This is the necessity of the higher education classroom and no doubt there is utilization of OERs, open educational resources. In between the class I told you, there are a particular group of people in education sector that is creative commons. We can create the contents and we can deliver to others. It can be a video, it can be an audio material. It can be a mixture of audio, video and text material, it can be a text material alone. Whatever it is, develop the content and post it in any of the online resource. Open education resources should be developed as a trend for higher education classrooms. And another thing is distance education. In a country like ours, it is difficult to take all people to the classrooms because our social responsibilities are high and our financial status are behind while comparing with other countries. So, it may not be possible to take all who intended to have higher education to the colleges or universities. There comes the significance of distance education. One who really interested to get higher education, there should have opportunities for it. Almost all universities have open education and distance education uh, cells in the university campuses. The students can register for it and do the course. IGNO is a major presence in the field, Indira Gandhi National Open University. Of course, though have limitations, we have noticed the signatures in the field. Higher education sector in India have different types of methods, different types of practices, highest resources, highest technologies and highest methods of practicing. We have worldwide identified teachers, we have high, highly oriented systems, we have studios, we have methods, we have internets, we have labs, we have technical supports. What teachers can do? The first thing is that being self motivated for acquiring new information. Try to know the worldly trends. Acquire knowledge through self efforts rather than waiting for government training. It is not the responsibility of government alone to train the teachers on all these new methods. We must be self motivated, we can identify what are going on all over the world. Try to acquire them, 
there are enough resources the books and the internet we can understand what is going on and as far as possible we can take to our own teaching approaches my suggestion is this one be part of the trend with unique self contributions then we can change the trend of higher education sector of our country india has wide opportunities we have greatest repositories we have greatest institutions and large number of students continuous attempt will make us fruitful success is with us thank you